much worse and they are silent and uh, there is a need for oversight and accountability but it would take the republicans actually not being hypocrites yeah i mean again i remember during the the run-up of benghazi and, and again this is something that went from 2011 mm -hmm. 2012, all the way to 2016 the last hearings on benghazi was in october of 2016 a month before the presidential election and there were at no point in time six different committees investigating this thing at, at one point they had 33 hearings about clinton's emails right jim jordan was out there right now he's the ranking republican in the house judiciary committee he was calling for doj investigations he was calling for fbi investigations all because they were so concerned concern about transparency, accountability, keeping up with federal records acts. And now they don't have anything to say about this very flagrant and blatant and warped <laughs> flushing documents down the toilet, aides having to piece things back together, <clears throat> you know, the archives having to go to Mar-a-Lago to retrieve 15 boxes some which contain classified information. Where is the Republican zeal for, for security? for preservation, for accountability, they have nothing to say. And for anybody who thinks that, well, we have the January 6th Select Committee and we should just leave it at that, again, oh my God. six committees were investigating Hillary Clinton. <laughs> you can do more than just January 6th. This isn't even about January 6th at this point. This yeah. is about complying with the Presidential Records Act, and this is something Congress should look at. Could be about a lot of other right. things, Joe. Yeah, no, it could be about a lot of other things, too, and you're exactly right, uh, Kurt. There should be another committee should should uh, get to the bottom of this uh, and 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 go all in. There can be two, three, four, five, six committee investigations going at the same time. Certainly, if you follow the Republicans' uh, uh, game plan that, that, that you know so much about and that you talk about so much. Uh, and, and, and here's the thing. Uh, yes, they are being hypocrites. How wonderful to have primetime hearings that actually have, have people talking about Donald Trump taking records, official White House records, shredding them up, shoving them down the toilet, staff members coming in to testify, and showing clips of Jim Jordan, showing clips of, of everybody else on that committee talking about how sacred uh, these official documents are and how horrible it was that Hillary Clinton, uh, you know, uh, did what we've found out. It seems like so many people in the Trump administration did with their email accounts. Uh, and, and then again, the destruction of these documents and have the staff members running behind saying, yeah, we always had to run in and grab the documents out of the trash can and piece them together, the ones we could, the ones that Donald wasn't flushing down the toilet. Good I God. want to see that in a primetime hearing. Yeah, Joe, I mean, that, again, this hearing sells itself, right? You have the aides tell us what, what you had to do. How did you get these documents? What process did you take to put them back together? Wait, you have who clips. was actually flushing them? Did you, Donald Trump right. go into the bathroom himself and put the papers in the toilet? Did, did some poor White House aide have to go and retrieve it somehow? Or like, what, what was that, going on no. there? My yeah, that's God. A I wouldn't a, do that. I, I, I can't We're imagine has that. Been, uh, has been <laughs> dear, I think. Oh, my God. Uh, no. Well, and then you think about, too, you had someone like Mark Meadows, White House Chief of Staff. I remember when he oh. was on the Oversight Committee talking about documents and emails and everything. And this guy, he's using personal phones. He's using signal accounts. <laughs> we like, might have what? found the person. <laughs> I mean, my no. gosh. Like, the, there is a, a voluminous amount of people that you could have these hearings with, and it would be appropriate. And all you got to do to set that hearing up is play all the clips of all the Republicans during the Hillary Clinton era and say, this is why we're having this hearing today, and make them answer for that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's obviously an extraordinary double standard. Some of the Trump aides have suggested uh, in the last day or so that as president, though, you have broad discretion about what you cl can classify and unclassify. So that may give him a little bit of a wiggle room there as to, like, hey, I'm just behaving appropriately. <laughs> but, but we heard it every night. Every night Every in 2016 night. on this rally stage saying that Hillary Clinton, you know, you butter used your emails and it was a question of judgment. He, that was the argument Donald Trump made. Hillary Clinton didn't have the judgment to be president because mm -hmm. she would use you know, her private email account for classified information. Now, of course, this raises questions about his own judgment. He's out of office now, but he still looms over the Republican Party. This will be an issue. Well, when you think sober, responsible judgment, you who Donald do you Trump? think of? <laughs> but, but Donald Trump. I mean, well, <laughs> Kurt, no worries, given the toilet angle of this story. I don't think this is the last we've heard of this. Uh, Kurt Bardella, thank you very much. <laughs> Helene Cooper.